hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to share a source code of a simple uh, java program that can convert image to text okay so this is basically an ocr or optical character recognition and uh, we are using a third party uh, api which is a free of uh, a, which is a free api provided by google itself and it's known as the tesseract api in one of my video uh, I have shown you how you can uh, convert image to text using a uh, command prompt. So this is the video. I'll share this uh, YouTube video uh, link in my description also. Here it is. I can uh, I have shown you how uh, uh, you can convert step by step. Uh, you can convert an image to text using command prompt. Okay. In one of my another video, I have shown you how to run command prompt command from java project okay so i'll be integrating uh, these two videos or these two cons now as a first process what we have to do is we have to implement uh, the image to text using command prompt in, in this pc okay now let's uh, see how we can implement that image to text com using command prompt just uh, open uh, this video which where we can where you can find uh, the documentation of uh, these uh, uh, this video so inside that that is a download section where you have you can download uh, the tesseract ocr as i told this is uh, a tesseract ocr we should uh, get this installed in your pc first okay so just click on that so it will start downloading your tesseract ocr okay so it's just a 12 mb file just download it first okay i have just uh, downloaded and extracted the file so here is the file let me uh, execute this one and install the tesseract setup in my pc okay so just go for installation accept the license agreement uh, install for everyone so i'm going to create it in my d drive and d drive tesseract ocr okay this is my installation uh, directory just select this that's that and just click next and uh, next now just install it okay so once uh, just wait for uh, this installation to be finished yes uh, the installation is finished now let's uh, uh, complete the, the installation process now go into my D, in my D drive there is a folder tesseract osia where uh, the installed file are, are there okay now using this uh, setup file we are going to execute uh, the uh, image to uh, text to uh, image to text conversion so i'll show you how we can do now for testing i'm going to uh, search for an ocr test file so ocr test file so it, it will give us a uh, image which we can uh, test our ocr okay so i'm going to select any one of this one i'm going to this one select this one it's a uh, uh, symbol i think so just uh, save this file in you can save anywhere so for our demonstration i am saving in, in my tesseract ocr itself in in this folder itself so just search here and uh, yeah i'm uh, giving i'm saving it as a test.png okay so it's uh, saved here yeah test.png is there so it is basically a png file which we can use uh, for testing okay now let me open my command prompt so i'm going to open my command prompt so i'm writing it as administrator so navigate into this folder just press cd and just navigate to this folder and uh, go to d drive yes now i'm inside this tesseract.ocr okay now the command for uh, doing an ocr test is you can uh, command is like this it is like uh, tesseract space the image name okay tesseract space image name and the output file so i'm giving it as output.txt okay now if we execute this command it should uh, do the optical character recognition in this image and it will create an output.txt file okay now going going to copy this one and uh, paste it in here and just press enter to do the ocr okay now you can see here the ocr has been completed and you can see an output text has been created okay now if i'm just opening this one you can see this is the same as uh, the image test.png okay so just uh, mm, 
and this just arranging this one you can see better the quick first bone and yes just see this is the same okay this is the same uh, OCR image or OCR output uh, this is the output of this image okay so we have successfully con co converted that uh, that text image to text okay now what i'm going to do is we are i'm going to write a java program that they, they can they can do the command prompt uh, command and convert any image uh, to a any image to a text value and they show the output in uh, in my console okay. so uh, basically i'll be writing a java program so which internally calls or the command prompt and uh, calls uh, write the commands which uh, which we can use to convert uh, the image to text and we will uh, get that output uh, written in our console okay so yes let's go for that so first thing uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to get uh, the code to run a command prompt commands from java so this is the code for that here i have written that so we need basically two java class here the main the my main dot java and uh, the sync pipe dot java okay now i am going to create a java class here so going to create a java class select project and search for java and java project select next and uh, uh, this is my uh, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. If you don't have your Eclipse IDE, just uh, search in my uh, videos. I have another video how you can get uh, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now I'm going to create, as I told, I'm going to create a Java project. So the name I'm giving it as uh, Java Image to Text. Okay, I'm just giving it as Java Image to Text. There will be anyone, uh, anything you can give any name. All others I am uh, putting it at default. I am not going to change anything uh, or any uh, libraries. Just click finish and wait for a Java project to be created. Yes, my Java project has been created. Now I am going to add the other uh, two classes uh, in uh, the package. So I am going to create a new package. Uh, the package name I am giving it as com.chillyfax.com and inside that i'm going to create a new java class so class name i am giving it as uh, the my main dot java itself just come back paste it here no dot java dot either okay now just click finish and one more java class we need to get created is the sync pipe dot java i have just created uh, two empty classes this is my main dot java and sync pipe uh, dot java now I'm going to get uh, the code in both. So copy from here, come back here and paste this here. And uh, the same way, no, this is not in sync pipe. This should be in my main, okay? And in sync pipe, what we have to copy is this one. Uh, till this one, okay? With the import functions also. Paste it here. Yes, there's no errors here. So in my main, there is an error, yes not add the my main here okay now import the print writer just just pressing uh, control space uh, this uh, project or this program is uh, to execute the command host name through com uh, command prompt okay so basically uh, uh, first I, I'll open the command prompt let's try uh, running uh, this uh, command uh, through command prompt just uh, press uh, just enter the host name so it will return my pc name okay so my pc name is miritpc okay now I, i'm just uh, changing the command uh, I, if i'm just running this one uh, through the java application let me uh, run this uh, as a java application you can see here in my console it should give me the same output what I have got through command prompt okay so basically this is a, just a command uh, uh, or this is the program to run uh, java, uh, command prompt command through java, uh, through java project okay so I'm, I'm giving one more command start just to demonstrate start clc okay so if i'm just uh, copying this command and running through my command prompt it should start the calculator you can see my calculator has been started 
now if i'm running these through the java project you can see it should start the calculator okay so this is the same i mean uh, this project is executing as uh, the same uh, uh, command prompt command through our java project so i have already shown you how you can execute a command prompt command uh, to convert image to text now we are going to write that commands inside this uh, program and see how we can use that for uh, converting any in, uh, text image to text conversion okay now let me uh, let me uh, let me modify this program little bit so i'll explain what i have uh, modified and how it works okay let me modify this yes uh, the modification has been completed as you can see here i have added three string variables the string variable is input file output file and test thread install path okay these three we have to set uh, it uh, before starting on uh, the pro uh, running the project so input file i, ha I have already uh, collected some of uh, test files you can see here in my d drive uh, in test files folder i have 11.jpg 22.png and 33.png i have uh, taken this uh, randomly from uh, google for testing so this is uh, saved in my d drive test files as you can see here i have already written that d drive test files and the output file path i already set it as uh, in the test file itself and uh, this is the test right install path which we should give uh, uh, where we have installed our test right okay so i'm 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 internally executing uh, that uh, uh, the one which i have already so, uh, shown the test rack test png output text so here it is uh, the first one is the test rack install path and uh, the input file uh, which we have to get uh, the OCR and the output uh, file which uh, after finishing that OCR okay so this is the command uh, command prompt command which I have set it dynamically to read uh, the values which we have uh, given in the uh, in the program okay so once uh, this is executed this will create a output file in uh, in this uh, output file path so in this uh, as a 11 dot uh, txt and finally I am reading that output file okay so this is what internally happening so I have uh, created one more a uh, read file dot Java so what it does is it will it, it, it will uh, we have to pass the file name uh, in, in this uh, Java program and uh, in this Java class and it will uh, directly read that uh, uh, read that text file or uh, using uh, this uh, read a file dot class okay so as I told, uh, it's all it's all uh, ready. We have we can test now. The input file is set, output file is set, and installation path will be set. So till this, it will execute that command. And after this, I am giving a, a little space in our console. And finally, I'm reading uh, the output file here. Okay. So yes, we can test now. Already set it. Now just uh, this is the uh, folder which I have already uh, given. Uh, and uh, the where the output file will be generated. Um, just right click on the project and select run as Java application and you can see here the Java application has been run and uh, the test right is uh, successful and here it is the output it is output the output is printed on the console okay now let's go to the test files and uh, you can see here if we have given the output path as d test files and the file has been created and this is the output file and i'll open the input file yes this is the input file yes you can see here uh, this is the output uh, and uh, let me open our project console and just compare here this is a lot of 12 point text to test you can see here yes it has uh, successfully read uh, the image okay now let me try sometimes there may be issue of the language so you can set the default language by uh, pressing hyphen l and gi giving uh, the command as uh, uh, forcefully giving the command as english uh, i mean uh, the language as english it is uh, hyphen l space english okay so if uh, i'm running uh, the second uh, file second file is a little bit complicated you can see here it's not visible that much i'm not sure how for it will be okay now i'm going to uh, select the third file now just going to three uh, i'm giving updating the file name as uh, 33 dot png and putting it as 33 as the output file i'm going to run as java application yes it has been read successfully you can see here uh, the test file uh, the output file has been created now this is the input file okay mild splendor of various wasted night 
and uh, the last one is occult occult sky okay so my splendor of various nested night and the last is our can sky and there is a little bit uh, a small error here it is said to depend upon uh, the images which we have given to read okay hope you got this I have explained step by step how you can implement a simple java program to read image to text and i cannot assure you uh, the the efficiency or the correctness of uh, the read read image so uh, before trying to uh, get this in a real time application make sure this is perfect for your your project uh, if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it i think i have explained uh, deeply everything which i could uh, possibly what all the errors come and everything and yes uh, that's all for now and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching